So what is the function of the motor pulse light? Like, I get you want to set it to your motor, but what does that do in the firmware that other brushless firmwares I've seen don't do? Uh, that's really used for when uh, people are using it for crawlers. So when you're using it, and um, the, the number of poles also does change some um, calculations, like ERPM to RPM calculations. The pole count has to be known, too. Um, but for sign mode, so sinusoidal startup, if we just sort of jump to that quickly, uh, basically forces the motor around like it's a stepper motor. It just creates a, a rotating electrical uh, field, that a uh, magnetic field that just um, holds the ro the um, the rotor um, locked in position and then rotates that around with brute force. And sine mode speed um, is going to the actual RPM of sine mode is going to uh, vary with the motor poles. So a two pole motor is only going to need uh, it's one pole pair. It's going to need one sinusoidal electrical revolution. So it's going to have to go through one zero to three hundred and sixty degree step, and then that'll be one complete 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 revolution of the motor itself. But a fourteen pole motor is going to have to go through seven electrical revolutions to make one full revolution. So in order to make sine mode proportional um, from different motor types depending on their pole count from 4-pole to 2-pole to 14-pole motors or above, then that had to be entered in there. But for regular brushless um, you know, flying multi-rotors, then you don't need it. Um, motor poles is not really used for anything in that instance.